right, so hello everyone. Uh, as you can see, there were some smaller changes made. Um, I recorded the entire clip of this video, and as I watched it back, I realized that it was a bit corrupted. So I had, to, so I have to re-record it. So uh, basically, I figured I'd show you guys what the. Well, as I'm recording this, I might show you a few more things while I add it. So uh, today's video topic will be uh, metadata and links. And uh, in the next one, I'm going to show you how you can how you can create a simple navigation bar. Um, so yeah. So first, the metadata. So you might have uh, realized that there were some changes made to the website's code since last time. So the metadata, which is the thing that it's has the meta tag and a bunch of things right here. So let's go through each and every one of those, shall we? So uh, meta character set tells it which set of characters to use. I recommend to use UTF-8. It's universal and works on pretty much every single um, uh, on pretty much every single uh, website as long as you're using English characters. Uh, viewport content uh, vid uh, vid the equals device dash vid initial dash scale one. The scale equals one. Uh, basically, what this says is like, hey, scale my website to the width on my device's screen. So if you had a smartphone, it will scale to that size essentially. Uh, description, as it says, is description, and the offer is the offer of the website. You can change this to whatever you want, so that it, uh, so that it like uh, responds to uh, is with your things. Uh, here another thing I uh, did mention the icon part right here. Um, you can add an icon. So I downloaded my icon and put it into my directory. Um, let me just find it real quick. So as you can see here um, in my folder I have put the icon right over here. Uh, let me open it up real quick and there it is. That's my icon that I'm using. So, which you can see right here being used, and the reason why it's being used is that we are linking the file to the icon parameter and it picks the type as the image to be specific the PNG file format, which is what you want. Um, this part you all know. Next one is the links. So links are created using the A tag and they can have a bunch of variables. In order to have a link for the function, all you need on this href part right here, which basically says, hey, make my link uh, clickable and open a link. So if I were to click this link, it will open up uh, the link itself to my website, for example, or to the website's repository, as you can see right here. The target double quotes blank, what it does, it basically tells it, hey, open it up in a new tab. So you saw me do that already. You click it, it will open in a new tab. And that's pretty much it. Then I added another break and then added pretty much the same thing, but changed the link to the website of the repository of the website itself. So if you click it, it will open up the repository for the website. Um, so yeah, uh, also one important thing, if you're planning on using metadata, make sure you use the ones that apply to your uh, needs. So don't use any unnecessary metadata that you do not specifically need. Uh, metadata is useful so you can pretty much uh, make it more yours because um, it is easy to read, yes, but um, this makes sure that you can enable extra functionality that otherwise wouldn't be present on your website, which is in today's end.